Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Liliana and on this channel we discuss history and literature related topics, so make sure to stick around if that sounds interesting to you. Today's video is going to be a simple study with me because it's the end of the semester and I know everybody has a ton of work to do, so I thought it would be best and most time efficient to just do a simple video where I just study and talk about what I'm studying and you all can watch that if you are interested. So today's class is going to start in just a few minutes, so I am going to once again settle with my tea, which today is not blackberry sage, but rather caramel, and my breakfast, which is this piece of bread. My first class, as you might have seen from another video, is of course the introduction to religion. And while I am waiting for that class, here is a close-up view of my lovely screensaver. For today's class, we're going to be talking about cosmogony, and we are going to also be listening to some student reports, which I will talk about more later on in the video. And me, being a good student, I'm of course taking notes on what my fellow classmates are saying during the reports while eating my bread and drinking my tea. And getting crumbs from my bread inside of my tea, but that is that. So today we were talking about cosmogony, which is the study of the origin of the universe, and students did presentations on various topics that they researched, which included Greek cosmogony, Babylonian cosmogony, Hindu cosmogony, cosmogony and Scientology, intelligent design, and the Big Bang Theory, so that was pretty interesting. Now that my first class is over, I have a short break before I go to work, and I will probably spend that cleaning up the random things I just threw on my floor because I didn't have anywhere else to put them before I sat down to class. So now that my first class is over, I'm going to be doing the readings for Wednesday's class and I'm going to be reading this chapter in my book on theodicy, which is defined as the vindication of divine goodness and providence in view of the existence of evil. This chapter is all about the concept that good triumphs over evil always, and how that plays out in various world religions. The chapter also talks about when it doesn't play out in various world religions. And here is a close-up of my tea, because why not? And now we are on to the reading for my next class, which is a chapter on the book of Hebrews in the Christian New Testament, in my book on early Christianity for my aforementioned early Christianity class. In this chapter, the author is basically just describing the influence of Jews and Christians when they lived amongst the pagan Roman society in the early 1st and 2nd centuries. And now I have been working for quite some time. I went to two of my classes and my job, and it is now mid-afternoon, and I am rather hungry. So I am going to be very basic and make a grilled cheese with extra sharp cheddar cheese, turkey, and avocado. It is finished. I slightly burned one side of the bread, but it's okay because smokiness is nice. And I am also going to get a white chocolate from my mother's very aesthetic leaf-shaped chocolate tray. It was very tasty. Now I am editing this video that you are seeing right now. And I am trying to figure out what order the clips should go in and if I should make them longer for the sake of making this video longer. And hey look, there's my sandwich again! These are the various notes and scripts for the live stream that I'm going to be having at one of my jobs. Basically, I am an editor for my school newspaper and we are going to be hosting a live panel tomorrow night on election night to discuss issues of politics and American law with professors from various disciplines all across my university. I am super excited for this event because I love organizing and planning events, even though it is usually very time consuming and stressful. But this event in particular is going to be really great because we're having professors from various different disciplines of study and fields within my university and they're all going to come in and give their input as panelists in tomorrow night's live stream 
and I am super excited to hear what they have to say and to hear how they're going to answer all of the questions that we're going to ask them, even though planning this event has made me quite tired and has made my eyes burn to quite a great extent. Also, I am running out of things to say now, so please enjoy these last 30 seconds of aesthetic and calming piano music, courtesy of YouTube. 